Good day. Uh, my name is Mohamed Yagoubi and I'm an assistant professor at the Division of Gastroenterology at McMaster University in Canada. On behalf of my co-authors, I would like to talk to you about our recently published study, Incidents and Predictors of Post-CRCP Pancreatitis in Patients with Suspected Sphincter of OD Dysfunction Undergoing Biliary or Dual Sphincteronomy. The study was funded by the National Institute of Digestive Diseases and Kidney. Dr. Peter Cotton from Medical University of South Carolina is the senior author of the study, and the co-authors are co-investigators of the episode study, which was a landmark study published in JAMA last year. Uh, as you may know, a sphincter of body dysfunction type 3 is defined by typical biliary or, or pancreatic pain in the absence of ductal dilation or enzyme abnormalities. These patients are often treated with ERCP um, and um, biliary or dual sphincterotomy based on the results of the manometry and the post-ERCP pancreatitis um, develops in more than 15% of these patients, even in the expert centers. In the episode study, the investigators prospectively entered 214 post-cholecystectomy patients with SOD type 3 in seven U.S. centers. Patients were randomized to a sphincterotomy or sham, irrespective of the results of the manometry. Patients in the sphincterotomy arm with elevated pancreatic sphincter pressure were then randomized to biliary alone or to dual sphincterotomy. Almost all patients received the prophylactic pancreatic coordinates who were blind to the procedure followed on patients. Uh, Post-URCP pancreatitis actually occurred in 26 randomized patients. The rate was not significantly different in patients who received the sphincterotomy as compared to those undergoing sham and no treatment. In addition, the proportion was not a statistically significant comparing those who received the biliary um, alone or uh, the ones actually received dual sphincterotomy. Our multivariate analysis identified an interaction between the duration of ERCP and sedation time with a p-value of uh, less than 0.02. We uh, therefore concluded that abnormal manometry and 